Oh, hello. Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today's International Sandwich Sunday, and we're headed over to Malaysia to make the Nasi Lemak Sandwich. Now, you might recall that uh, chef and superstar and cookbook author uh, Anis Navila came on here and did this as a guest host episode back in August, September. And I have been jonesing to make this sandwich ever since I saw her make it. So uh, let's get into it. First thing we gotta do, boil some dried chilies, 30 of them. Now we puree the chilies with a little bit of the uh, boiling water. Then we set that paste aside and we put in some uh, red onion, garlic, fermented shrimp paste that I toasted, and a little bit of water. And we waz that up. Now we cook our chili puree in some neutral oil until it gets dry. Now we add in the pureed onion mixture and mix that together and cook it again until it gets kind of dry looking or the oil starts to separate and rise to the top. Now we add in brown sugar, some uh, tamarind that has been rehydrated from paste, and a little bit of water. All right, to build our sandwich, one side of bread is buttered with salted butter. The other side we put on our sambal that we just made. Next we put on hard boiled eggs and cucumber. Okay, let's give this nasi lemak sandwich a go. That is delicious. You've got the spicy, complex, tangy, umami bomb that is that sambal, and it's playing against the coolness of the cucumber and the crunch of the cucumber, and the eggs are in there bringing in a little richness, and you got salted butter. Mm. I am gonna plus it up the same way Anna's did. I'm gonna add some crispy fried shallots. Okay, let's give this nasi lemak sandwich plus up with crispy fried shallots. I'll go. Another layer of flavor and another textural element. Oh, that is so good. Okay, quick notes. Uh, the chili peppers that I used were just Indian chili peppers that I bought off Amazon. There was no specific kind like cayenne or whatever. Um, the fermented shrimp paste is very strong. <laughs> it's a very strong smell. So if you were averse to very strong smells, you might consider leaving that out and just adding salt at the end. But that sambal is delicious. The original nasi lemak sandwich that's like a nine and a half. It's just so much going on there. So much depth of flavor with that sambal. Then you got the richness of the eggs, the freshness of the cucumber, and then the salted butter. It's just so good. Blessed up with the fried shallots, 10, easily. That is just a fantastic sandwich. And it'll give you a vegetarian sandwich if you don't use the fermented shrimp paste. Hmm. Just wanna say a quick thanks to Ennis for guest hosting and for providing this recipe and guidance on how to do it. Very much appreciate it. I'm gonna finish this. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh.